Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cichlid Bros. In today's video, we're going to be doing one of my favorite things, showing the growth rate and evolution of one of my fish. The Oscar Cichlid is well known for its rapid growth rate, and I'm going to show the full progression of my Oscar, who I've had for exactly one year now. I got him when he was really small, and he's pretty big now, so I'm going to show the full progression in today's video. We've done a lot of similar videos on growth rates of other cichlids, and we'll leave those down in the description below if you're interested. I've been really excited to film and post this video on the Oscar, so guys, let's dive right in. This is my Tiger Oscar Nessie, who is in my 180 gallon South American cichlid tank. Since I've had this Oscar exactly one year now, I thought it would be great to show how large these fish can get and how quickly they can outgrow smaller tanks. Oscars are well known for their awesome personality. You can't get much better when it comes to an interactive and intelligent cichlid. Nessie is the most active swimmer in this tank and is always front and center. It's the most aggressive eater in this tank and will always splash me during feeding time. My Oscar here has grown a ton in the past year but I've heard and seen some cases of growth that were even more than Nessie here. So more to come on that in a bit. One year ago, I bought Nessie from my local fish store. I wanted to find the smallest Oscar possible so that I could watch and track the growth over time. I find it very rewarding to see a small fish grow up into an adult, and it's already been a great experience with this Oscar. Nessie was roughly an inch to maybe one and a half inches when I first added to my 75 gallon aquarium. I did a video a year ago when I stocked this tank, and you'll maybe see a few cichlids in this tank that have grown a ton as well, but none more than Nessie. At this size, Oscars can still have great color, and their big bug eyes make them a popular choice for some fish keepers. That can be an issue if it's a beginner fish keeper that isn't truly prepared for this fish to grow so quickly. Only a month later, the Oscar had grown maybe an inch, and the colors on this Oscar darkened some with the orange fading away temporarily. Another month later, Nessie was around three to three and a half inches and still pretty dark black. Since the Oscar was healthy and at a decent size now, it was time to move to the larger 180 gallon aquarium. I did a video on this transfer as well, which was the same time that I added my large true parrot. Here's both of them enjoying their new space. I was also careful to give the other cichlids in my 180 gallon aquarium some time to grow before I bought and added the Oscar, since Nessie here would outgrow them all. My Geophagus top hose, for instance, would have only been about 2 inches when Nessie grew into an adult size, which would have been an issue. So giving the other cichlids a head start before adding the Oscar made this a better situation long term. After being in the 180 gallon for a month, the Oscar was now about four to four and a half inches and starting to put on a lot of girth as well. So after about three total months, Nessie had grown from about one to four inches already. In October, we were right around five inches in total length and he was already catching up and passing some of the tank mates in total size. Always the most eager to be fed, Nessie would always be the top of the tank staring me down. Feeding Oscars is always enjoyable. In November, which is roughly the five month mark, Nessie was five and a half inches and the orange color along the sides was starting to come back in. This footage was actually from the care guide video I did on the Oscar, and I'll leave this video down in the description if you're interested. There hadn't been any issue with the other tank mates, just some light scuffles which you'll see with any cichlids. And a month later, the Oscar was about five and a half to six inches and still doing really well. A couple months later in February, and Nessie was about six and a half inches long and clearly putting on some weight as well. The orange patterns really came in during this time and Nessie was doing great. In March of this year, roughly nine months after day one, the Oscar was seven inches in total length and starting to become an absolute unit. Still one of the most enjoyable fish to feed, I did have to get creative in where and how I fed the tank so that I wouldn't be splashed every time. I started feeding large pellets at this time and the Oscar would take them down like it was nothing with huge mouthfuls. Sticking to the smaller pellets actually seemed to keep the Oscar from making a huge mess in the tank, 
So I've been using Big Fella pellets from Extreme mostly. In May, about one month ago, Nessie was now seven and a half inches long and doing great and had passed up many of the tank mates in size at this point. And the black and orange color was really popping. And here we are today at about eight inches in total length and a really thick bodied Oscar fish as well. Within the past year, this Oscar went from roughly an inch to eight inches in total length. This amount of growth far surpasses many of the other American cichlids out there, and it's been awesome to watch the development. Even though the growth seems so fast with Nessie, I would say this is average when it comes to Oscars. I've heard of some growing to a foot in length in just their first year in some cases. A lot of people will tell you that Oscars grow about an inch per month until they reach their full size, which can be anywhere from 12 to 15 inches. If you're ever considering keeping an Oscar, just make sure you have a big tank to accommodate this growth. Oscars will not stop growing if they're in a small tank, so do the right thing and provide a large home for them and you'll have a very rewarding experience since they are just the best. And although this Oscar didn't grow quite as fast as some others might, it was still awesome to watch the rapid changes over the past year. I'd expect Nessie to continue growing fast in the coming months, and I'll of course show updates of the Oscar and my tanks on the channel. I hope you found this growth video on the Oscar interesting. And if you'd like to see a similar growth rate video on any of our other cichlids that we keep, make sure to leave that down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.